Uh, if your income is crap, then you're just not going to get financing or they're just going to be like, no, we're gonna, we'll give you this. So the bank dictates the terms way more than you can. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mark Loeffler Experience. Today and today only, we're going to talk about real estate on this show. Wait, hold on a second. No, we talk about real estate all the time. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Canadian Real Estate Channel, I guess, because that's what we talk about a lot is Canadian real estate and Canadian economics. And if you have any questions or comments or want to see a topic on the show, definitely leave a comment down below. But today we are going to talk about what a lot of people come to me about is they have a portfolio of 10 to 15 condos that they bought pre-construction. Maybe they have some coming up in pre-construction and they're like, right now specifically, they're like, I can't get any more financing. I can't refinance the ones I have. I'm negative cash flow on these because they're in Ontario and they can't raise rents, even though rents are up 20, 30%. Um, and so they're coming to me and they're like, you know what? Is it a good idea to sell all of those and just buy multifamily properties? I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I'll wait and I'll give you my opinion once you smash that like button. Is that how that works? I don't know. If I, if I don't ask, well, do you actually smash the like button? Comment. I want to know. Anyways, well, let's talk about that, right? So obviously it's kind of this they're similar commodities you have let's say you have 15 condos or a 15 unit uh building you'd have the exact same amount of uh, of real estate technically so what's the difference well on the condo side right now it's residential financing that is seemingly going to shift in commercial financing which would be better for the condo owners except they're going to pay more um, and I doubt that they'll have some the same flexibility that you do if you own a multi. So right right away, financing is based on your income. Uh, if your income is crap, then you're just not going to get financing, or they're just going to be like, no, we're gonna, we'll give you this. So the bank dictates the terms way more than you can, um, which is what it is. Uh, you have 15 individual titles, so if you want to go down to 14. This is a benefit. You can sell one. If, if one of those is underperforming, you can just sell it, right? Um, other thing is you have 15 different titles. They're all in different areas. So management is a lot, could be, could be more work, right? It just could be more work because you're in different locations, different maintenance in different areas not a central spot so if you go to have a maintenance guy go he can go do two or three different things all at one time i guess one of my biggest pet peeves in condos in general is that you don't control your costs you know the condo board if they want to have the windows washed three times a year or they want to go with this company or that company to do different things you're not controlling that cost. That cost is controlled for you by the condo board. And if you own condos, comment down below. Are condo fees going up or are they going down right now? Comment down below. I don't know. I don't own any condos. Well, I do own one, I guess. My parents' condo. Anyway, I digress. But their condo fees are going sky high too. Condos, right? So what do we have going against this residential financing um i don't control my cost different locations in general i don't think the financing is as good now most of the people who are coming to me with these portfolios are looking at it and saying okay if i sold these maybe i would go and invest in ontario maybe i'd go and invest in alberta um i mean if you sold the condos and let's say you had a million dollars so 15 condos each one had a hundred thousand dollars in equity some have way more some have maybe less let's call it a hundred thousand dollars in equity so you sell that uh you pay your taxes probably leaves you with about million two ish right well i mean in alberta you could almost buy a 15 unit cash 
with with that money but why the heck would you um you, like 100 110 a door right now for a 15 unit property so you're a million five to a million six five and let's just okay let's compare apples to apples actually so if i'm buying if i'm selling the condos the brand they're newer builds i want to buy a newer build in alberta i can do that i can buy something for about 180 to 200 a door uh newer build 15 unit call it three million dollars i can go ahead and put 15 10 15 percent down sometimes a lot a lot of times i can do five percent with mli select and get a 50-year amortization so on the residential financing i will never get anything over a 30-year amortization on the multi-residential commercial side i can do a 30 a 35 a 40 a 45 or a 50. i got tons of options so that's obviously you you want options and plus the rates are better right now. They're under 5% for an MLI select mortgage right now. And that's, they're up large. Like they were closer to 4% uh, about a month ago. So maybe now is not the time to lock in, but whatever. You got to do what you got to do. Anyways, so I buy a 15 unit in Edmonton, call it, um, you know, $3 million. I put my, call it 10% down. Oh, okay. Even if I got to put 20% down, that's half the money I've, I've gotten selling the, those buildings. So I could technically go and take those 15 units and turn it into 30 with no additional money. And I control my cash flow. So rents go up. I can raise my rents. Now, do rents go down in Alberta? Yeah. Yeah, they do. You know, if I'm really concerned about that, I take that 1.2 million and I can go buy a 10 to 15 unit in Ontario for sure. That's gonna be my down payment. And when somebody leaves, you know, I can raise that rent to 300% sometimes. Sometimes it's 50, 60%. Um, but again, I have everything under one roof. So I have my handyman goes out, he can go fix four or five things. I don't get charged for all his driving time between things. I have one uh, boiler, um, I have one roof. You know, I'm not paying into all these funds to, to share the cost and I control my cost. So I don't wanna wash the windows three times a year. I don't need to, I'm not paying for a pool. I'm not paying for a fitness center for these people. I'm not paying for the concierge and the security. And I know these are added benefits and this way you get probably more rent yet I may choose or may not choose to do that in my buildings. That's my choice. So I guess what this comes down to is do you want to be in control of your own destiny? If you want to be in control of your own destiny, I personally don't see condos being a great option. I think there's way too much control of other people on your condos and i get it they were easy like you put five ten percent down you waited four or five years they got built you made a heck of, a heck of a lot of equity on them they were easy i don't think for the next three to five years that they're going to be easy that's just my opinion again though here's here's a slant to this they are still, and watch my last video, they are still not building enough homes in Ontario. For whatever reason, well, we know the reasons. I don't, we don't have to beat a dead horse here. For They're not building enough homes in Ontario. So if you own stuff in Ontario, over the next five to 10 years, it's gonna be worth more than it is today. Just for the simple fact that I don't think they're gonna fix it. I don't think there's political will to fix it. So if that's your play, then take those uh, condos, buy something in, in Hamilton, Brantford, Woodstock, London. You can definitely, like we, like we just did that deal, 10 units, 1.45 in London at a five and a half cap. You know, these deals, they exist. I'm not just saying this because I want you guys all to list your condos with me, although that would be nice. I would appreciate that. I think you'll be better off financially to take all that individual units and turn it into one, two or three buildings in which 
you have more control and you're going to get more cash flow overall because you can control your expenses and your rents a little bit better if you're in Edmonton or somewhere that's not Ontario. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, are you investing in condos right now? Do you own a bunch of condos but want to get into multifamily? Let me know. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. And hopefully we'll all see you out on Monday night at Caro on James. And uh, we have our investor meetup. Thanks, everyone. Check you next time.